On a frictionless horizontal surface assumed to be xy plane, a small trolley A is moving along a straight line parallel to the y-axis. Okay, it's moving parallel to the y-axis. Fine. With a constant velocity root 3 minus 1 per second. Okay. At a particular instant, the line OA makes an angle of 45 degree with the x-axis. The ball is thrown along the surface from the origin O. Its velocity makes an angle phi with the x-axis and it hits the trolley. So, obviously it will be, you know, something like this. The ball is going with, uh, let us say, velocity v and this is phi. The motion of the ball is observed from the frame of the trolley. Calculate the angle theta made by the velocity vector of the ball with the x-axis in this frame. Okay, and, cal and find the speed of the ball with respect to the surface if phi is equal to 4 theta by 3. Okay, so uh, we can write that the velocity of A is actually root 3 minus 1 j. Velocity of ball is V cos phi i cap plus v sin phi j cap so therefore velocity of ball with respect to a is v cos phi i cap plus v sin phi minus root 3 plus 1 j cap okay so angle theta made by the velocity vector of the ball with the x-axis in this frame so therefore tan theta becomes v sin phi minus root 3 plus 1 divided by v cos phi okay and yes it's going to hit the trolley so therefore we can write that uh, The line OA makes angle of 45 degree with the x-axis. Okay. So that means what? That initially this is A and this is also A. So therefore V cos phi into T is going to be equal to A and V sin phi into t is going to be a plus root 3 minus 1 into t okay so therefore here we can see that v sin phi v sin phi minus root 3 plus 1 is equal to a by t and v cos phi is also equal to a by t therefore this is 1 so theta is going to be equal to 45 degrees okay find the speed of the ball with respect to the surface if phi is equal to 4 theta by 3 okay so 4 theta by 3 is equal to 4 by 3 into 45 which is equal to 60 degrees so therefore uh, speed of the ball with respect to the surface so basically we have to find V okay so therefore uh, we can write V into cos phi is a by 2 cos phi is cos 60 is 1 by 2 is equal to a by t and V sin phi sin phi is v sin phi now this is equal to actually v root 3 by 2 minus of root 3 plus 1 okay so if we do v then it's going to be root 3 by 2 minus half okay uh, sorry it's minus root 3 minus 1 so this is going to be equal to <coughs> root 3 minus 1 
so v actually becomes 2 meter per second okay so the speed of the ball with respect to surface is 2 meters per second we'll again recapitulate how we like derived the equations so uh, its velocity makes an angle phi with the x axis and it hits the trolley so therefore if you see you know this is v and let us say it was fired at an angle phi so therefore in this component it's v cos phi in this direction it's going to be v sin phi okay so so uh, in time t it's going to cover v cos phi into t and here it's going to cover v sin phi into t but because it has hit a so therefore we can write that v cos phi t is going to be equal to a okay and v sin phi t is equal to a plus root 3 minus 1 into t because this has already moved up till here and this is root 3 minus 1 into t okay so you know so from here we get you know like one these two equations we get and then it is asked that what is tan theta okay so tan theta is uh, you know like so we calculated va we calculated vb so vb with respect to a we calculated and therefore this is going to be v by divided by vx which is 1 so therefore theta is going to become 45 degree and we have to find the speed of the ball with respect if phi is equal to 4 theta by 3 so therefore phi is 60 degree now we just substitute things here phi becomes 60 degree and we can calculate v thank you